Hey Rush Kids, me Coco Bechamel! Welcome to Queen Time, my wonderful talk show where local drag queens answer the most random questions I can come up with. My tonight's guest is more campy than a bonfire marshmallow. Ladies and gentlemen! How do I summon you? Who's that Pokemon? Vision Bentley! Hi! Hi! I'm very surprised to be here. Did I pronounce your name right? You did, Bijou Bentley. How did you come up with your drag name? So, my drag name at first was like a temporary name until I came up with something else and it kind of just stuck. But Bijou came from a cartoon about hamsters. Okay. And, but it's also French for Jewel, which I think is kind of fitting. And then Bentley is like a nice car, but also I just like the alliteration <laughs> of the B and the B. Okay. How long have you been doing drag? <sighs> I've been doing drag too long. I started playing around with makeup and stuff back in like 2011. Ooh. Um, but it was so different because I didn't have the resources that oh. they do now. You know what I mean? And I was 17 and not in like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and so I didn't know anybody that did drag. So it was like very slow progress. Mm -hmm. But um, probably for the past four years, I've been doing it like steady and regularly. And do you have any phobias? I'm not as bad as I used to be. I used to be terrified of heights. I still don't like them. Um, and it kind of depends. Like, I don't mind flying, but like looking up at tall buildings kind of makes me dizzy. And it's, like roller coasters, I'm not really crazy about. <laughs> Would you say you are more a painter or more a drag queen? These days, I'm much more of a drag queen, I think, than I am a painter. I don't find the time to paint as much as I would like to, um, but I did force myself to buy some art supplies recently in hopes that I'm going to get back into it, so we'll see. What is your favorite 80s song? Oh my god, um, that's tough. I really like um, Straight Up by Paul Abdul. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. I like a lot of 80s music, but it's hard to pick one. I love, I don't know. I love, I feel like 80s, I, maybe not so much, but I love like 70s and I love 90s. So 80s in between. <laughs> but I don't know, I like all that stuff. What was the most time consuming look that you've ever done? For my first drag con that I went to, I made like a full mermaid gown, but I hand painted the whole thing and I thought in my head it would not take that long. <laughs> But painting fabric takes so long because it takes forever to dry. And I also made the mistake of sewing it all first before painting it. So then I had to be careful about what bled through to other spots. And I had to make sure like I had to have space to lay it all out to dry. But it looked really cool when it was done, but it took forever and took up like the whole living room. What was the weirdest thing that you've ever eaten? The weirdest food. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm not super adventurous when it comes to food. Um, Liz is more adventurous, so she's made me eat like cow tongue. That's probably okay. like the. But like, I tried like the smallest bite I could get away with. Did you like get him to shut up? No. <laughs> what was the worst pickup line that you've ever used or heard? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever really used any pickup lines. Okay. I've been in a relationship for as long as I can remember. And I didn't have to do any work, so <laughs> I just. So, you know, whatever. How long does it take you to get ready? I always like to brag and say it only takes me like an hour and a half, mm -hmm. but I always get so distracted and then suddenly I have like five minutes to finish. <laughs> so I would say somewhere between like an hour and a half to two hours. I can do it quick if I need to, but I like to take my time. Are you superstitious? I don't think so. I wouldn't say so. I step on all the cracks. I have broken several mirrors. And I Fine. Sure. Who is your drag mother? I don't have a drag mother. Uh, like I said, I didn't really have the references when I started. Um, so for me, it was kind of pretty much all self taught. I think it would be cool to have a drag mother. I think there's definitely benefits to it, but also I take pride in like, knowing that I taught myself pretty much everything. Do you have drag children? Um, I have one drag child. I used. I, I feel like people ask all the time, and I'm like, I don't want that. And even my like drag daughter Brooke, Brooke Bentley, she doesn't do drag a lot. She's like, but like she looks pretty when she does it, but she doesn't do it very much. So, what is your favorite place to eat in Sacramento? New favorite place. Mm -hmm. We just went to Kiki's last night, 
I don't know if it's called like Kiki something something something. The the big letters just said Kiki's, but it was like fried chicken and wings and stuff like that. And I got a fried chicken sandwich and garlic fries, and it was so good. And so I think we're gonna go there tonight as well. Mm -hmm. Say one mean thing about Liz. Oh my god, I can say a million mean things about Liz. <laughs> just one. She takes too long to get ready. She's so picky. She's... I just want okay. <laughs> One mean thing about Liz, and it's not even like mean, but like she's a perfectionist, which can go, it can go either way, but it can be very annoying. <laughs> I can see her face. <laughs> this is over there, she'll be here in next episode of Queen Time! That's kind of a spoiler, but who cares? What would be one good advice you would give to a new queen? My advice that I always give to new queens is to be nice and be friendly to everybody. Aww. The queens, okay, like that sounds cheesy, but the queens love to like start trouble and like drama and they love to be in it. And I'm like, you have to be nice to these girls because these are the girls that are going to be booking you later, maybe. <laughs> and these are the girls that you're going to have to work with in the dressing room. So like, just be nice. Spontaneous question. Do you have a gift for me? Oh my gosh, it's so funny you would ask Coco because I did bring you a present. <gasps> I brought you one of my keychains because I thought it was perfect because it's the yeah, outfit I'm wearing it's today. Adorable. It's um, my good friend Aaron did the art for these, so I have super cute keychains with the cute little heart key oh, ring. Geez. Yeah, so I brought this just for you, Coco. Just for me. Now you can be jealous. You sell them? Or I do. I have an Etsy actually too. <laughs> you too? Yeah. Oh well, links in the description <laughs> below. So I heard you have a YouTube channel as well. I do. Tell us something about it. So my YouTube channel, it's mostly just my performances, which is more for like my safekeeping than anything else, because they don't really get a lot of views, but it's nice for me to have reference. But I also try and do fun stuff here and there. Um, I used to film with Liz, we used to film a video called Nut or Gnaw. Mm -hmm. Basically, it was like a tutor boot kind of video with um, <laughs> people from social media. Um, but we haven't done that in a long time. Lately, I've been doing um, Pokemon product unboxing and reviews mm -hmm. and the other night I filmed my first Pokemon card opening so I opened like 10 packs of cards and filmed that and my reaction so I'm trying to get better at it but it's a lot of work you yeah. know I don't have the green screen <laughs> magic and I don't have all so, of this. Mr. I don't, I don't have a Mr. Bechamel. <laughs> Liz doesn't Hi, do Mr. anything. Bechamel. It's all me. I'm sure she helps a lot. She makes sure I look good. Who would be your Snatch Game character? Uh, I think that I would do Divine, maybe? I th I've done the look, and I I like how it comes out. Obviously, I'm a very tiny Divine. Mm -hmm. I, you know. But also, Andy Warhol would be a lot of fun. Okay. So, one of those two, probably. Do you know what time it is? I'm scared to ask. Just ask. What time is it, Coco? Rapid fire questions time! Squirrels or possums? Squirrels. Top or bottom? Versatile. Too hot or too cold? Too hot. What is your favorite curse word? Your favorite video game? Pokemon. New wig or a new dress? Ooh, that was so fast, I'm almost out of breath. I am worn out. Okay, so this is a very special portion of the show. Okay. You can ask me a question, whatever it is. Okay, so my question for you, as a European queen, are you an ABBA fan? And answer carefully, because if you answer incorrectly, I'm out of here. Interview is over, <laughs> I'm out the door, on my way back home. I am an ABBA fan. Okay, what's your favorite song? The winner takes it all. Uh. That's all for tonight! Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it at least half as much as I did. If you liked it, remember to like and subscribe, and if you didn't, do it anyway, I don't care, you don't need to be honest. Now, Bijou, please be a proper internet sensation and share your social media with us. Okay, so you can follow me on Instagram at bijou.bentley. Um, Twitter is rated R18+. Plus, I've noticed. Please. But it's Benny Bijou, it's equal part boy and girl. And then Facebook, Bijou Bentley. I don't think it's on Facebook that much anymore, but... Obviously, I'll put all the links below. And also, not just the links for her, but for me. So remember to follow me on my social media, because I, I need those likes and shares and all this shit. And tips on Venmo. But Lasky! That was way better! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>